I have been working on my Berta coat and I looked all over the pattern because I wanted to know whether it was a vintage pattern but I could not find the copyright or the year that the pattern came out. So this very well may be a vintage pattern but I'm not sure. But I mentioned in maybe my last video that this jacket or coat has a separating zipper and I thought it was the first separating zipper that I've ever done but I remembered that a while ago a couple years ago I made McCall 7848 and that also has a separating zipper so this is actually my second time putting in a separating zipper so I want to go and show you where I've gotten how far I am in the process so you can just see how everything is coming along and hopefully by the end of this video I will be able to put my coat on and share it with you so let's go see what it's looking like okay so this is the coat so far now I did find this fabric from savers a while ago I'm at the point now where I am attaching the separating zipper so I have it pinned down I did use some scrap fabric for the under collar. I think this is the under collar. Let me see. Yes. So I used some scrap fabric for the under collar. But then there is an upper collar right here that will go over that. And this is the front facing and all the interfacing attached. So this is where I am so far. There are pockets here. Oops, not there. Pockets here. And yes, that's it. So I'm excited. I am really, really excited. So I will come back with the finished garment. So we are in Arizona and I am wearing the coat that I just finished. So I want to share it with you. I did want to mention that I had the coat on for the whole drive. So it is a little bit wrinkled, but I still want to share it with you. The jacket is not lined. And one thing that I did do is that I made sure to tack the pockets down to the front facing because I noticed that the pockets were kind of flipping around when I would wear the jacket. So I am going to find a spot that I can just show you what this jacket or coat looks like on. actually back in California we just took a quick little one day trip to Arizona which was so nice because I have been traveling but most of my travel recently has been by airplane and this was the first time in a long time that we actually took a road trip so it was nice seeing different things. I really enjoyed seeing cactus on the side of the road and then seeing animals grazing and then the mountains. It's just so beautiful and it was just so peaceful. And a lot of times when we take road trips, we play games or either we'll listen to a podcast. And the game that we like to play is the alphabet game. So we try to find on signs and cars and different things, we'll try to find letters from A to Z. And then whoever, you know, gets to Z first wins. So that's usually pretty fun. So is anybody else ready for new patterns to come out? I cannot wait to see what the new patterns are gonna be like this year. Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So you know how when you're cooking, especially if you're cooking with onions, you're cutting the onions and they make your eyes water and all that kind of stuff. Well, I recently learned that there is something, I'm reading it on my phone, 
there are onion goggles, which are stylish glasses for cutting and cooking. Yes, there's like something for everything, right? I had no idea there was such a thing as cooking goggles or onion goggles. That's what they're really called. Yes, so thought that was interesting. I had to pass that along just in case you want some or you know somebody that does.